All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So uh, this video is kind of an intro to a new series that I'm doing on optics and things of that nature. It's really cool. Uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, got a scope mount that I want to show you guys. Wow, that's really close. Well, damn near, I'd, well, almost identical. All right, so let's do this real quickly. I've got a new scope that I want to do a review on. I'm going to show you guys what that is uh, beforehand. Uh, I wanted to go over a couple little things. You've seen a bunch of stuff out here, okay? So one is uh, this Holosun. This is the uh, Vulcan, ACSS Vulcan. It has the ring and the chevron. The purpose fulfillment of this particular new little build that I'm doing is that I want to, I thought I was going to be able to use this optic, and I know it's boring to most of you people, but it's for people who are into this kind of stuff, with the thorn tail, and it didn't really quite work out. Uh, it wouldn't fit. So we started all over. I was going to go ahead and throw this guy on as an offset optic on a new concept that I'm going to go with in my upcoming three gun at Memorial. Memorial three gun. I'm using the Arasaka offset mount and uh, I just had to use order another number two plate because the one I had was a hunk of junk and uh, not from Marisaka, but from somebody else. But let's talk about this real quickly, the uh, concept of what we're doing. I am, and there's some people are gonna call me crazy, but I wanna use something like this in the upcoming three gun. Okay, so this is a 20 inch proof research carbon wrap barrel on all JP parts, uh, with exception of the X2 Jackal, which I thought was a great fit for this. And on this side, uh, I'm also going to put a platinum uh, size uh, scope mount, but we're going to run the two and a half to ten on this. Now there's some one to tens, which we're getting ready to show you guys here in a few minutes. But I am partial to the uh, Raptor uh, M2 uh, scope. Wow, what do you call that thing? The reticle. <laughs> but I'm going to change it out with a platinum series uh, scope mount, and we're doing Arasaka, uh, and then we're pl plate and offset and we're going to put this right here this is what you use for close quarters this we're going to reach out and go 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 big go home okay so anyway uh this is the m2 which i think is set up for mills and that's not a big deal we just lays the targets and mills and i lays my targets anyway what are we doing here lately i have been doing a lot of scope mounts and this is gonna you know, not gonna be any different primary arms is pushing this one pretty hard uh, this is their new SLX 34 millimeter cantilever mount, one and a half inch, which means it's one and a half inches above the center line of the barrel. And this is a really nice little deal. And open this thing up, they offer this in a 34 millimeter uh, 20 MOA cant, the uh, 34 millimeter with a one and a half inch height, 30 millimeter with a 20 MOA cant, and just a plain old 30 millimeter one and a half above the center line of the barrel. Let's open this thing up. I uh, am looking at the website and computer over here, but I'll tell you what, that's a nice little deal. Let's go ahead and bring the uh, scope, what do you call that thing up above me, camera in so we can show you what this thing looks like a little closer. Okay, went ahead and brightened up that little, uh, all right, three, two, one. One. All right, so this is going to be a different little series. I'm going to go ahead and peel off that sticker that says Made in China because that makes me want to throw up. Uh, unfortunately, these days, you're not going to get away from it. I wish we would. Donald Trump was a president. And I think that would make a hell of a difference. Tariff the shit out of them. Bring jobs back to America, right? Okay, so with that, that comes with the primary arms. This is their typical deal when it comes to uh, scope mounts and especially these guys right here so this is pretty neat put this on here like so and i can't show you putting on this but i will tell you uh this is pretty nice i wish they would give the torques back for these as well as and in most cases i do just an fyi you follow your heart in other words but your rings i do to about a 25 or 22 if it's a night force or something that's up there follow their directions okay so you do come with two torque wrenches uh, and typically I use my own stuff don't use th this to install but rather I use this just to expedite the removal of the rings there we go 
Now, one of the things I'm going to tell you right now, I saw, I bought another one of those cheap Chinese scope rings. I was looking at this guy right here. This is a high mount. This is a 1.97 inch above the threshold. Also, this is a uh, old guy from Sight Marks that I was using. But uh, one of the things that I noticed is that the inside of these little $39, $27 scope rings, you really need to pay attention to how the interior of this lines up because on that guy right there, and that's why it's on that, that sight mark, is if these things don't line up and something's like a little wedged on the inside, it will damage the tube of your optic. So let's take a look at this. Yep, not, nope, no sleeves. Fit and finish, you've got two locking lugs right here, three cross bolt sections. Let's see, I don't believe these are gonna be staked. They are not. It's kinda of hard to do that. I would like to see that, but on a scope mount, these are $89.99. I don't have a discount code for those boys over there at the Primary Arms any longer, or I never did actually. So, SLX, nicely made. Pretty much, I mean, what else can you say about a scope mount, honestly? Uh, <laughs> it's gonna hold up. Let's look at some specs on the good old interweb. Oh, okay, so Primary Arms SLX scope mounts are made from 6061 aluminum, featured steel hardware with innovative three bolt design and distributes recoil evenly over 6,500 pounds of clamping force. Combined with the dual machine recoil lugs, that's what those are right there. Make sure we can see that. The SLX mounts can resist heavy impacts and sustain gunfire without ever shifting your zero, all the while remaining lightweight, compact, 34 millimeter scope mount features a twin, well, some of them do, not this one. And uh, we'll go ahead and put this back on here. But uh, so what I'm gonna be doing is we'll do a video. Uh, you'll see that coming out is this guy right here. This is their new one to 10 SLX with the Nova reticle, which is more like in line with what you would see on, say, an ACOG. Pretty cool stuff. I'm sure Dimitri pretty much developed that to be perfect. I know him. That's the way he works. So in any case, that's it. $89.99. Why is it like this? God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom's not free. And just an FYI, and if I bled, yep, right there in here is my uh, primary arms uh, tightening lug tool scope mount thing, because they put it on a lot of stuff. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Don't forget to head on over there and take a look at them, okay? I'll put them in the campsite below. See you. Take care. Bye-bye.